Hey guys, ArtDude47 here, and today we are going to be talking about restoring yellowing plastic on a video game console uh, or old computer, anything like that. Um, now this method works with basically anything that was supposed to be like a gray or white plastic. It may not work as well with colored plastics. Uh, so I am going to use my GameCube to show that today. The front plate where the controllers plug in as well as the memory card covers are pretty yellowed and so we're going to be restoring those. Uh, so first I'll show you how to take apart the GameCube. It's actually very easy. You can see there's two holes on each corner and then on the top corners there's another two holes. Those each contain the screws. Again, just like the Nintendo 64 video, you will need a game bit to get, get that open. Super cheap, you can get it on eBay. Um, this is the 4.5 millimeter game bit. Not sure if it'll focus on that, but that's what it looks like. Now again, to make the, the video a little shorter, I already took out the screws on this, so at that point you could flip it over so it's right side up. And then the top housing should just lift off. So go ahead and put that to the side. You don't need to do anything with the top housing. Now to remove the controller port here, it's literally just like clipped on. So you just give it a little pressure on each of the posts here. There's one on this side and then one on that side. And then it can kind of fall out, but it's still connected by this ribbon cable. Now you can take the ribbon cable and you just want to kind of gently go back and forth to disconnect this. don't want to you know force it too hard or anything you don't want to damage the ribbon cable because this is how it gets input from your controllers once that's disconnected you can completely remove the part from the console now you'll notice there is still a board on the back of this you don't want that there it's just two uh, like J1 sized Phillips screws so I'm gonna go ahead and remove each of those screws All right, and so with those removed, the board should just lift straight off. just like this. I'll try to point it out on the, the camera just so you can see. There are plastic pieces going through the board, so like right here. So you wanna lift it off of those rather than like snap them. So just lift it straight up and that'll make sure. And then you get the face plate alone, which I don't know if you could tell on the video, it is slightly yellowed. I will put before and after photos as well so you can see better. Now the memory card covers are also needing this, so these are a little harder to remove. Um, there they are. What I find the easiest to do, try to do it so you can see it, is push down on the memory card cover with one hand, and then you just pull it out after it's inserted, or after it's pushed in, basically. And these are just clipped on, so just kind of gently, um, but you need to get both sides out. Just like that. Now it's important to note there's a spring up top. I think you can just barely see that on the, the video. Don't lose that. Don't, tr don't bend it or anything like that. And we're going to go ahead and remove the other one. And 
Now again, I'm just being very gentle with the console. I don't want to snap anything. And that one's out too. So now basically what you want to do is take some hydrogen peroxide. Um, I've been able to find like 3% near where I am. Technically, if you could find stronger percents, that would do better. Um, but you want to soak these pieces in hydrogen peroxide. Um, and then you've got to put them out in sunlight. So I will go ahead and start doing that. And I'll see you guys back in a second so I can show you. All right, guys. So once you've got it removed, you need to put it in a Tupperware container. And then comes the hydrogen peroxide. And you just want to submerge it. And after that, just let it sit in the sunlight. All right, guys, so I let it sit in the sun for about four or five hours. And as you can see, hopefully in the video that it's, it's much lighter. It's still a little dark, like you can see here, some difference in coloration. Uh, so I am gonna let it go again for another five hours or so. And then there was also one memory card flap I was doing and I think you could tell but that one is still quite yellow so that one may need another two or three shots so I'm just gonna repeat exactly as I showed you before and I'll update you once it's done all right guys I'm back I have finished the de-yellowing process uh, so I gave the controller faceplate another day um, about five more hours in the Sun and that seemed to take care of it, put it back to pretty close to normal. The worst piece was one of the memory card covers. That one got an additional two days at five hours each, and now that one's looking good. Uh, you can see the compar comparisons there up on the screen. All right, guys, so with that uh, yellowing process complete, let's talk about reassembly of the GameCube. Uh, starting with the memory card doors, those are probably the most frustrating to put back on. I'm gonna try to get this in there here. If you can see that spring sticking up right here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is push that down and make sure it goes inside the memory card port. So I've got the GameCube here. These are the memory card ports. You wanna get that spring inside the port before you snap this in. Make sure the spring's in and then you can go ahead and snap the plastic into the rails here. And so you're going to want to do it like, like this, basically catch the spring and then push the memory card slot down like this. So it's like inside as if there were a memory card actually in the slot is how you want it to be. And from there you should be able to snap it back into place and now it should spring if you've done it correctly so again you want to do it basically like this where you insert it into that slot but you've got to make sure you're also pushing the spring down in there And like I said, assuming you've done it correctly, it'll bounce back just like it, it normally would. So that's that's the hard part done. Now what you'll want to do next is attach your board back up. So the ribbon should be facing the bottom side here. And you just want to look for the slot in between. I find it's easiest if you just place the board face down on the table. Then you can kind of match up that slot with the ribbon cable and just press it in. I'm going to turn it around just so I can get a better view on it and get, take care of that.
All right, and so once you've got that fit snugly back in place, now you're going to need your faceplate and your two Phillips screws again. And basically, you want to match that board up where the screws would go. I've got my screws sitting over here. Grab my screwdriver real quick. All right, so with this, you just kind of have to balance it up. Once you've got the plastic holes lined up, you should be able to see the holes for the screws. And from there, kind of carefully put those into place. I'm just supporting it with my left hand while I'm screwing that back into place with my right. I've got the magnetic head so it was just pulling back out. There we go. Get that tightened back down. And once you've got that secured, this part's easy. You just kind of slide the faceplate back down into the GameCube and you snap onto these posts. And it should just snap into place. Once you've done that, you're ready to go ahead and put the top portion back on. Now this should just slide over top of the GameCube. Just gently do it until you've found the track that it slides on. And I like to just examine the edges and make sure it's fit snugly. And then you can put the GameCube back upside down and return the four screws in each corner. All right, and so with those screws back in, that's your GameCube restored. Uh, like I said, this will also work with other yellowing plastic, especially on like Super Nintendo, you see it a lot. Um, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Uh, that would really help me out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.